Oh, I'm nervous. No, don't be nervous. Are they coming to get me? <laughs> no. Okay, so this is Discovery Central, Life Unedited, and this is Carolina from Portugal. So you're actually number two. Yeah. So no pressure. He had the most pressure. So. Yeah, absolutely. We were just going to add that Taman stared, another stereotype that Taman had of Americans is that we are all fat. Fat. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> But see, I'm not so overweight, so the stereotype that he has is not necessarily true, right? Exactly. Okay, so, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, question number one. What are some stereotypes about people from your country, from Portugal? Um, that we are overly nice. Okay. <laughs> oh <my God>. And <laughs> that we cook very well. Oh, is that not true? That is true. Oh. Stereotypes are just about something that's not true? Um. Well, it can be true or not true, but it's like, it's kind of like a general thing that everybody thinks. So, do you think that everybody, well, like most people in the world, think that Portuguese cook well? Yeah, at least from what I've, what I've heard. Okay. Yeah. And so, I, do, I think that as well. So. Okay, so that would be a true stereotype. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, number two, what are some stereotypes you have about Americans? <laughs> Tricky. Um, be honest. Really, it's okay to be. Honest. I will. No, I will. But I have to think a little bit about this when I had so much time to think. Um, I don't know. I think it's a very divided uh, country. Okay. Politically, gender, race, all, all of those, <laughs> all okay. of those, all of the above. Okay. Especially politically. Okay. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can see that from the past years that have heard you. I mean, you went from a black president to. And overly <laughs> <laughs> racist and, and everything else. Uh, and now so you have it was like 180 degrees. You know, so you have one on this side and one on this side. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, I, okay. I'm, I mean, you can, you can see the, you can see how divided the country. Is, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, do you have any fears or regrets? Fears? Yes. Regrets? I don't think so. Okay. I have a fear of not being good enough. I have a fear of not living my life according to my own terms. I have a fear of not being able to travel as much as I want to. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. And what is something you love and what makes you happy? What I love. I love art and I love languages. Okay. Uh, something that makes me happy spending time with my friends. Okay. And okay, what is one thing you want people to know about where you're from? I really want people to know that oh, there yeah. is a lot more to see than just Lisbon and Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please okay. go to other cities because we have incredible places in Portugal. <laughs> okay, so there's more than just oh, oh, Lisbon yeah. and Portugal. I mean, there. Lisbon and Porto are incredible cities, but you have a lot more to see. It's not kind of like uh, people will say they say, "Oh yeah, I went to America," and they're like, "I said, oh really? Where?" And they're like, "Oh New York." I'm like, wow. And it's like you went to one city, America. yeah, exactly. And, and America is, I mean, has a lot of different uh, places. I mean, like Portugal. Yeah. If you go to Texas, nothing like New York, or if you go to California, it's, you know, it's nothing like Texas. Yeah. 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 And. Okay, what is one thing that the Portuguese are proud of? Unfortunately, yeah, our past. Ronaldo, that's it. Yeah, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, yeah. I didn't even know he was Portuguese. He's from Portugal? He's from one of the islands. He's from yeah. Mandaira, I think. I hope I'm not mistaken. <laughs> not a big football I know that, Okay, I knew, I knew he played football, but that's like the maximum that I knew. <laughs> okay, and the last question is a free question. Anything you want to ask? To you? Yeah. Or, uh, or about Americans or like what is the meaning of life or anything? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really occur anything to me. But I don't do you think that the stereotypes that people say about the Americans are true? Or do you think it's there's lots of that, <laughs> well, <you know? laughs> there's it lots depends of on the stereotype. Well of course. Um I think some of them are true. You know, we are very independent and I think Sometimes, if we're talking about independence, you know, very independent. What's this? We move out of. I think the main thing is we move out of our parents' house when we're 18. It's more like a pass, like a rite of passage, or like the thing that you do when you're 18, you just move out. Oh, you mean individuality? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. and individually so, you are very independent. Yeah, and sometimes that comes across as rude or detached, you know. But mm -hmm. uh, but it's just it's it's a cultural thing. It's just what we do. Mm -hmm. And it says that we are independent, we are free, we can do all of these things. But in a lot of other cultures, like especially when parents get older, you know, parents go to live with their kids, and for us, that's quite different. Mm -hmm. um, they usually there's a, there, we have lots of communities. There's a whole system built on elderly retirement communities. There. And, I, I, and some people think that that's like how rude. Yes. Actually, most people in Portugal would yes. would say so. They yeah. wouldn't agree with the way you do that. I agree. I think giving independence to elderly people is like as important as giving independence to your children. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's like it's not because they don't have the same capacities anymore that they should just be kept in like a house and. Yeah. They're not going to do anything anymore. They're not going to see the sun as often. And I, I mean, I do agree with the way you do things in terms of uh, keeping the elderly maybe more active and yeah, yeah and more Mentally, independent. Physically. You know, I have to talk to some people who were elderly and see how they felt about it because, you know, like I said, we have all these communities that are built for people who are of this age group. And um, as we are independent from a really young age, like 18, 19, mm -hmm. you are. You know, even people buy houses at 23, 24, 25, get married, you know, I want to say that people who are older feel like if they go back to live with their kids, then maybe they're losing their independence and they're a burden on the kids. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's easier to live um, in these retirement communities mm -hmm. and it, it looks bad on our, like, on our generation, but it, I think that they are still strong enough to where they don't want to give in and, um, I would say, they're, they don't want to be a burden on, on us, so yes, I, I they prefer these communities. I That's my guess. No, 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 but I do, I completely agree with you. But in Portugal, for example, uh, it's the complete opposite um, as, as America because we are very used to, I, I mean, I live that. Uh, my, my grandparents, uh, my grandmother actually from the my mother's side, mm -hmm. she lived with us for more than 10 years mm -hmm. uh, and there was no way that my mother was going to put her in in another place, like yeah, yeah, ever, ever, and she for her that was taking care of her mother that wants to care of her, yeah, you know, yeah. and I mean, I, even though I do understand that, it's, um, I mean, she she did lose independence because of that. She was, I mean, home. She she died when she was ninety five, so she was pretty old, yeah, but still, it's like. Um, yeah, no, I, I fully do agree with the way you do things. It just gives people a lot more independence. Yeah, but you see how like you have these ideas or expectations about a certain culture, but then you have to instead of just making the judgment and saying, "Oh, wow, that's terrible," you know, they shouldn't do this. You have to get to know the culture a little bit more. Try to understand it. Absolutely, you know. Yes, yeah, like we we were talking about with uh, with Tom and it's when I first got to know him in Milos, I just thought the way they would approach people. It would, it would be like so aggressive and so violent. <laughs> it would be like so so aggressive and so violent. But then I got to know them, and they are incredible guys. You yeah. know, and it's just the way that that they do stuff. It's, yeah. it, it's it's within them. You yeah. know, it's um, the, you cannot change it. You just have to accept it, and it's fine. You know, yeah. it's it's another way of doing things and, and it's valid as much as mine is as much as yours is. So, yeah 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 excellent yeah. well thank you so much for joining me <laughs> thank you